That's what friends do. What friends do, Shelby? I wouldn't they lift each other up. Are you for serious right now? Yeah, I am. I am for serious. Last time you lifted me up, I literally lift you up all the time. I do. When? I literally said something to you like today earlier that I think you were surprised that I complimented. What? I don't remember what it was, but I know that you're like, oh, you know, I know what I did today. I know. I asked if you were awake. <laughs> oh, that okay. That is because every morning we're supposed to be each other's fail safe of mm -hmm. like, are you up? And then there's some times where I'm like, I'm gonna test our friendship where I don't bother texting you at all. Yeah. Thinking that like surely she'll think I'm And I'm whoa, her. at 350. Yeah, and so you've been working mornings for how long? How many months? I don't know, like seven, six, five. One time. That's not true. That's not true, actually. Less than five. That's not Less true. Than Less than five. Okay. Thank you, though. That was very nice. Uh, yesterday, we FaceTimed each other, and as we got off, you like to do the bit where you unintentionally hang up before somebody says something. Yeah, like, I do. Yeah, you do that. It's like the instant message, like, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do the door slam before they can message. Yeah. So I got the phone. I'm like, uh, I'm like you didn't mention my haircut. And then you, <laughs> you text me. It looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got all my hair cut. That's good. Congratulations. Getting ready for Riley's big day. Yes, I'm very ready. I'm ready for um, uh, my. I get my speech on Friday, my rehearsal cool. dinner speech. Get me very excited with a room of people I don't know who. If they they probably don't know me. No, probably not. Um, because I her family for sure doesn't, because they're yeah. not from there. They live in Florida. I believe most of Marshall's family is here. Yeah, I think so. Maybe they do. So it's it's it. Yeah, have a clever mix of like. It can't be too mushy because nobody wants to hear that crap. No. It can't be too many jokes because then you wear the jokes out too much. It's got to be like three or five minutes. There's going to be tears. Just do like three minutes. You don't need it to be any longer. My goal is to make her cry. Happy tears. That's good. Get a video. Get a video. Well, duh. I'm listening. I'm not doing it for I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it so I can get hits on websites. That's good. Smart. Are you in a rush today? You seem busy. I'm not busy. What? I just like was wondering what was on my laptop because it was like going into my like pad thing and I, it looks like crumbs but I, I really haven't eaten today so i'm confused why haven't you eaten today i've been so busy at work i'm getting ready to fly out to maryland why are you coming here for riley's wedding oh oh yeah 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 so, i have a lot of travel coming up like what i have to go oh, to DC louisville and louisville and then back that's cool that's cool good for you dude that's Is exciting cool? hey it how's your week cool. going it's going well. Um, I mean, uh, I'm. I. It's Tuesday night right so, now. Yep. What? So good. Yeah. So I've just honestly, I just unpacked and then restarted packing, and that's really all I've done. I'm helping my friend move tonight. Um, she's got a new apartment, so I'm gonna be helping her. Um, just trying to make sure I don't forget anything. And yep. the dress I bought for Riley's wedding is way too long for me, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that. So I don't know what I'm wearing either. So I have I'm gonna bring all my suits for hockey and just yeah, this happen there. Also, do you think you're gonna be good helping move because you moved your stuff so many times? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I just are have you, like an eye for decor. Are you actually moving, or are you just giving moral support? No, I'm gonna help her unpack. That's like I'm really like she already had the movers do everything. Oh, I'm helping her unpack. Okay, you're helping her move, then you're helping her unpack. It's different. Did you help me physically move stuff? Yes. Here to Georgia. Yes. You physically, you helped me pack. You didn't help me physically move. I moved stuff in your apartment. Here. Yes. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, no, you didn't. I, oh, and either way, though, ma'am, how many times? Like, let, let's go back to the couch. <laughs> I carried that couch up four flights of stairs. Like a good friend. Put it together in the living room. Where I'm no, like, it's, it's right behind me. Nice. It has are, you, stuff are, you, on it, are you sure you want it here? Yes, I'm sure I want it here. Okay. Then we wanted to move it, took it apart, moved yeah. it. Are you yeah. sure you want it here? No, I'm going to move to Georgia. So <laughs> I didn't know, to be fair. I didn't know I was moving I to Georgia. Did. I think you did. Moving is one of the worst things ever. I think yeah. about, um, like I, I saw, um, it's like every now and then you see like ads pop up on Facebook, like, oh, if I had a million dollars, but even if I won the lottery, I still don't think I want to deal with moving. Like you don't, it's, you don't. it's the absolute worst thing ever. I saw this article that moving is more stressful than having kids, which obviously I cannot attest to because I don't have children. But moving is horrible. It's like the worst thing. 
And then you have to like rely on other people to hopefully not mess up your furniture or maybe you can like hire your friends to do it for you. I don't have enough friends to help me move though. <laughs> what? You mean me and your uncle Wolf? I'm saying like to have somebody like physically move all this heavy furniture from this right here to the very back building. Who who am I going to like hire to do, to do that? My biggest thing in moving is I think it's one like I moved different apartments and that's relatively easy because it's like you have the place ready to go at the next place. You know yeah. what I mean? And nobody has to tour your place to see it. I think yeah. the stress of like ha if I was if I was to sell my place, the stress of like having people come in here randomly yeah. on days going through all your stuff checking your medicine cabinet they're like, not like going through your stuff they're just looking around no they're going through they're opening up closets they're opening up drawers one high of that because the realtors do it when i was i took my tours well yeah because they, they need to see the closet space but they're not like going through your stuff they're right. just and looking that also means like your house has to be like every single day has to be show ready like every yeah single day. And, your house you i you i don't even know what you would do i could do it what, but wouldn't you have to get like maybe like fake stuff or something maybe? Oh, for sure. Like, cause I don't like, I, you can tell a dude lives here. So like, like yeah. the podcast studio, they would take out for sure and put like yeah. a fake bed in it to show the bedrooms. And isn't it like cardboard? Yeah. Except for my, at my parents, my parents staged like our childhood home. I slept on the fake bed because I didn't have anywhere else to sleep. And it was like, I it felt like it was like it was like almost like uh like the mats and when in day school I took a nap on them. It okay. felt like it was like that and then like plastic containers. So like it was very much a if I was drunk as hell and in, in, in comatose, probably been yeah. decent sleep, not so much breathing and moving. Did did you, they like just not have like an air mattress or no, it was all packed. That sucks. Yeah. I would said I'd worry about that and then like my biggest fear of like if I ever try to sell my place is like uh the overlap. Of like, what do you mean? like if if I if I let's just say I found found my dream home, got it, and then this one didn't sell, having oh. to pay two mortgages would like that is that is terrifying. That's that's fair. Well, he, we have a foreign boss who did that. He um he had to move back to Florida, I believe, and like he was paying um Florida mortgage and a Maryland mortgage. Nope, and like that no. is that's what we call unsustainable. I just I feel like especially like in our job, like our industry, like. I, whenever I see someone buy a house, it, it makes me feel like ishy. I don't know. No offense. Because like I didn't know you when you bought the house. But like when I see people now buying houses, I'm like, mm, you don't know where you're going to be in like two years. I got lucky uh, according to because I looked at my house on Redfin today. Oh. I was watching a show. Uh, I was watching a podcast video where somebody's like, how many bathrooms do you have? And he goes, I have four. I'm like, how many bathrooms do I have? Because I oh. know it's like full bathroom. Two full, two halves. Yeah, so it's three is what it's li it's listed as because it's two, it's two halves equal three. Well, that's kind of misleading. One hundred percent. And I saw like what the what Redfin estimated the house at. I'm like, I couldn't afford that today. Like, I got lucky that I no. moved here six years ago. I think it was six years. Like, yeah. there's no, there's no way, dude. There's no. I guess way. it's like the housing market market really marker yeah. really took off. Hell, even like Riley's place went up like a lot already. I'm like, bro, this is oh wow, unreal. Oh, because she bought it like when everything was in the poop different. In, in the poop poop. We don't have to talk like that. We really don't. What would you rather say? Are you you just feel are you a little cranky? No, I just I don't like it when people talk like like say like bodily like functions. What would you yeah. prefer, Shelby? Just not say that, something else. It was in the tank. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you land when? I can't wait to see you. I land um at seven o'clock. Mm. PM? Yeah. <laughs> what day? Wednesday. Okay, I'll see you Thursday. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't even know if I'll, I'll see you Thursday because I have a lot going on. Oh, okay. Where are you landing? A BWI. Okay. So just asking questions. Oh, I thought you were trying to be like mean about it. I thought I'd be mean, but where are you landing? Oh, I don't know. You're like, where are you landing? I don't know. Anyway, my mom's taking me up from the airport, but yeah, I have a hair appointment um so that's important and then i'm getting uh i think dinner with kate it's exciting it is exciting thank you for, thank you for sharing that yeah you're welcome I'm excited for the wedding i'm excited to see riley uh have have happiness i'm a little bit nervous because riley really wants me to do the garter toss and uh no. on the show and uh I, we had the garters in high school and looking back now probably highly inappropriate or like yes least, for sure 
but I, I don't know, but it was like the parents, but it wasn't like, it was like above the knee. And I don't know why we did it. I don't know if it's just some Midwest thing, um, but it is what it is. But I don't want to do a garter toss because like I love being the center of attention when I can control set attention. Are you raising your hand for a question? Yes. So did you take it off? Probably. No, but like like the garter to toss in a wedding is like like someone you Goes know underneath the dress and like yeah we didn't do it like that like when that's like th that that to me also like if I'm getting married and like my wife's got her Cinderella dress on I'm not putting my head anywhere underneath her no this no is my, this is my can I tell you my logic with like fathers particularly okay I think that like the entire time as a dude you're dating somebody my fear is that the dad's wondering is he trying to sleep with my daughter and. You, and my future father-in-law, yeah. he can lie to himself that his daughter ha has saved herself and still has her V-card. The entire dating, marriage, up until we say, hey, we're pregnant and having a kid, he yeah. can be like, that. that's my pure girl and, and not, you know, hanging from the rafters or whatever it is. Yeah, so that's, that's fair. Guard toss, the last place I want to be at my own wedding is in the dress, just taking a look at looks you down the hole. Do you know what I mean? I mean, when you put it that way, it looks you down the hole. I mean, <laughs> <Hello. laughs> <Jesus. laughs> um, I yeah, mean, you know. yeah, I do. I, my thing is with it. I just like, I don't care if like weddings do it. Cause I have like most weddings I've been at, they've done it, but there have been weddings where they haven't done it. Um, or where the bride's actually just like taking it off and like handed it to them. But every single time I've caught the bouquet, the garter has been caught by like, the bride or groom's little brother. And like when I mean little brother, I mean like 12 year old or no. 13 year old. So I'm just like, get away from me. And everybody's like, ha ha ha, that's funny. But it's happened twice now. So I'm just like, this isn't. I wonder which is first. Is it if the bouquet is first, then they, I get a chance to peruse and be like, is it worth going for? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, I think it just like depends on the wedding and how drunk people are. Cause <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can be like, okay, cool. Wait, I hope I catch the bouquet at Riley's wedding. Well, I'm not going to go for the yarder. I'm, I'm not asking you to, I'm saying like, I was once at a wedding um, and my mom was there where I like put some, I took somebody out. Cause I was like, mm, <laughs> I'm getting this. <laughs> I just put my arm up so they wouldn't run anymore. I was at a wedding when the bouquet fell right from my ex-girlfriend's feet and I shook my head no. And she <laughs> really? Yeah. Cause I didn't want that pressure. What kind of, that's, it's just like a, a, what's it? Old, an old wives tale. Yeah, that's what I was saying though. Like, um, I don't like being the center of attention when I can't control it. So like a garter toss, it, it like I am a person who loves my birthday, but hates being sung to like when I can control the narrative and control the attention. Great. I don't want to stand on a dance floor and everybody watch me slow dance with somebody. I don't know. Oh, do you have to, is that the end goal? I don't, see, I, don't even... I used to DJ weddings. That's what we would do. Oh, I don't want to dance with anybody. I don't know. Really? So. You dance, period. You dance. I, all the I like to dance alone. Dance. Yeah, doing toe touches. And why not I can tell you're drunk? I realize your, your sign is you airpoint. That's I how mm -hmm. it's almost like you're seeing your imaginary friends who got you drunk. Like they're all there, <laughs> there they are. There's my friends. My there friends and I all hanging well, out. Well, not knowing the words to a song you've heard 10,000 times. I think I just get so drunk that I can't remember like where I'm at with the song. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm the not cool saying. The thing is that we're going to be at the cool table. Well, I will be. I don't know where you're sitting, but I'm going to be at the cool table. And so I'm pretty excited about it. Well, who who's going to be there? Um, so Son it will be like me, you, and our friend Sonic? No, he's not at your table. You're, oh. you're at a different table. Uh, it's the, she, they did it by gender. So it's me, Eric. They did not. Eddie, our friend Dennis, our friend they Sonic. They did not. They did No, they didn't. Should I call Riley and ask her? I don't know. She will kill you because it's her wedding week. You do not you do not call the bride on wedding week. You know what I did? I texted her yesterday. I was like, I know it's wedding week. I'm going to say this now. So I'm not texting you on Friday or Saturday or even Thursday. And I was like, I just want you to know how much I love you and how happy I am for you and how like whenever you're around Marshall, you glow and that's all I ever want for you. And she said like the nice thing back and it was adorable. But like, I'm not, you don't call the bride on. Why can't the, you wish that happiness for me? I do wish the happiness for you. Whenever I say it, I feel like you look at me like, okay, what, what do you want? <laughs> like, you never wish me happiness. I wish you happiness all the time. When's the last time? I literally like when you kicked off your tour, I said something nice to you. What was it? I don't know. Cause it was June. What? And it's actually kind of offensive that you don't remember. 
way to try to turn that around. <laughs> I know. It's like when like, what'd you get me? It's more and more offended. You remember what I got you? Yeah, you should actually remember. Like that's where the issue is here. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the cool table, and um, if you want, like, I can try to save you a seat, but you know. Yeah, I know. At least I know the food's really good because I I got to be at the tasting. And cool. to be honest, I don't know how I got myself to the tasting, but I got to be there. It was me, Marshall, and Riley, and the food's bomb, bro. Like nice. the food is, and they asked me, I got to share my opinions. Cool. And uh, it was really dope. So I'm excited. That's gonna be funsies. Your boy's gonna probably slay. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's like, okay. I'm really, I'm excited for my speech. Cause like, I like, listen, I know Latin women can be stern and very judgmental and there's nothing I love more than winning somebody over. And like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's fair. It, it, it's something about like, I just get giddy when it's somebody who like has that hate in their heart. Yeah. And I think Latin women are just born distrustful of men in general. And so like, I, I get I, it. I get it. You know, and like, I'm going to be, I'm going to make a little crack first. Yeah, I'm gonna crack that wall, and soon I'm gonna be part of the family, dude. Like, yeah, I'm Riley's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be jealous. I'm, yeah. I'm being serious. Riley's gonna be jealous, like, because you're gonna be like the new Riley. Yeah. So. And then October second at the Miracle Theater <laughs> in DC, the final local show of the West yes. Side Tour. Very wild. I believe the Fish Strauss is gonna be there for a check presentation, which is very cool. Uh, very excited for that you can get tickets internjohncomedy.com Louisville. Uh, coming up on October 9th at the Mercury Ballroom. Get tickets for that as well. And then uh, St. Pete, November 5th, the Palladium Theater, internjohncomedy.com for all those. What's the look for? The Palladium Theater. That was just funny. Okay, sorry. It's called inflection. Perhaps you should <laughs> okay. read a dictionary. Sounded like that was like a, a British accent, but okay. I'll, I'll go read a dictionary is not going to say that and so